Well, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. Part two. So I was just sitting here on the intro screen while I was making... I, I, I booted the game, went to go get some coffee. And uh, I realised it started playing like the intro cutscene again. Which is quite interesting. Um, we've obviously already seen this in, in part one, so I won't let it play for that long. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a good day. Uh, lots of you enjoyed the original part. This video hopefully will be a bit longer as well, so we can get a bit deeper into the game. It's funny... Uh, I only started playing two days ago, but I feel like I'm already forgetting some details. So let's just remind ourselves, for my sake as much as yours. Okay, we have um, two characters. We have Locke and we have Terra. Terra is a sorceress that had her mind wiped. Oh God, do you know what? I suddenly think I don't like the scan lights. So let's, let's deal with those if we can. Oh, why can't I control anything? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we have Terra lost her, uh, uh, her memory. And seems to have, like, she got put into a mech and given this device by, was it Kefka? Was that the guy that did it? Um, and then we were suddenly introduced to this guy, Locke, who seems to know about Terra, but hasn't really said very much, but is trying to get her away from this frozen city, frozen town of Nash. That's about it, really. Okay, we're going to go back to standard graphics here. Also, I've got to turn the game down a little bit. Um, you guys hopefully will tell me if uh, the mic sounds weird. Yesterday when I was shooting Tomb Raider, I had a bunch of issues with it and just ended up resetting my whole configuration and now it sounds weird, I'm sure, but I'm not really doing my <laughs> due diligence with it. Um, so yeah, I think that's fine. We don't really have to mess with anything else. Magitech Elite, she's called as well, by the way, which is interesting. And we have the Adventure Lock, and that's about it, isn't it? Um, it there's the Gestalian Empire, they're bad guys. Um, I think the Gestalian Empire is trying to mess with espers and rebuild the world of old. Something like that. Um, and yeah, uh, any, any other details hopefully we'll just get into as we go along. Let's uh, run on through. Oh, actually, hold on, before I come into here. So we're now in a new town, whose name totally eludes me. I'll remember it when we get back out. Um, but these guys are, you know, we're kind of refugees, I guess. Figaro, that's it. We're in Figaro, and, um, we're here because Nash isn't safe for us. So I have no idea where we're going after this. This feels very, very early classic Final Fantasy as well. Being able to go to a big castle like this and explore all the, like, little hidden rooms and things. I don't suppose there's anything here. <clears throat> there might not be any point to this area ever in the whole game, but hey, who knows. I actually have not been awake for very long, and my throat, I'm suddenly realising, is quite sore, and I don't know why. Hello, guards. Go and speak to the king. I will do. Hopefully he doesn't reject us, but I feel like that might be part of the course. So he has no queen. King, you mean this young woman is... dot dot dot, question mark? Who are you? Says Terra. Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back on a lady on our very first meeting. Oh my god, is he going to be a main character? The young king. The fact he's young tells me straight away he might be a main character. Of, and they're also, don't they, they do this little cutscene thing before the other two main party members, right? The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally, champion of the technological revolution. Edgar. Wow, I have no recognition of this guy as a character. Okay, Edgar. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I pressed space to confirm. Edgar. You know, I've just retyped the same name in, but now it feels inauthentic. But whatever. Use this name. Some yeah, 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 yeah. Use it. I am Edgar, the king of Figaro. So this is interesting. It's got, like, this little color. Uh, embossed or backing his name, this border around it. it does, that, does that mean each character maybe has a certain specific colour associated with him? Like Locke here is blue. Hair, surprise someone like a, like me knows a king. Oh, we're buddies, are we? Well, I'll catch you two later. Oh, that is interesting. I thought we were like a brigand, uh, like a, a lowlife or something. So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here as long as you like. It's not like it's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. <laughs> okay, so he's very bluntly just trying to get in her pants. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. What's the matter? Oh, I should voice her really, shouldn't I? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. 
<laughs> what, he expected her to chase after him and give her give him a kiss. Hmm, I suppose some girls would have felt, felt something from those words. Would they? All right, maybe it's in the delivery, but I don't really see that as being particularly effective flirting. But not me. Oh, I'm playing her now. Oh, this is quite cool. We're just sort of flitting all over the place, eh? So hold on, is he not actually in my party? No. This is the kind of thing I was talking about in part one where it's like, the thing I understood about this game is, you know, they had had years and many iterations of this same basic type of game. And by this point, they kind of knew where they could do kind of weird or fun little twists and, and you know, they could play around with the formula very deftly at this point. Okay, so what, we're just saying, hold on, he said that Figaro is allied with the Empire. Shouldn't that, but, but they, they shouldn't be? What, what, what is he saying? They're allied with the Empire, the Castalian Empire who we're fleeing from, so we're safe, as in, you won't be scrutinised here. But the reality is he doesn't like them, is that the idea? You wouldn't know, so he's happy to harbour this enemy of the state, kind of thing. You wouldn't know it by looking at this, but this castle is loaded with advanced technology. For example, whoops, hey, it's all a top secret. Does the, does the castle go flying at some point? Is that going to be a thing? Figaro has an alliance with the Empire. Okay, I see. So some kind of like non-aggression pact or something. Figaro ha is the most advanced structure in the world. Oh, this is totally going to go... Oh, I see. I see the... Um, what do we call these? Propellers, obviously, right? Vents, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, this thing's... Is this the airship? I doubt it's going to be a whole goddamn castle, is it? That's the thing in 9, isn't it? The Summon Alexander is a castle. And does, does it fly, though? Scholars all over the world are busy studying magic, but you can only learn so much about something without seeing it. The ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who mastered the art were called magic. Oh, so there's literally no magic utilization at all. It's not just that there's less magic around, it's just it's gone. and It's like fantasy to them now. Except some people, like us, like Terra. Can't interact with any of the books, it seems. Oh, is this a stairway down? It is. What am I supposed to do? Just chill and live my life here? Is that the idea? <laughs> I'm assuming when I try to leave the castle, something will happen. Oh, I can get out towards the Chocobos. This is Figaro. De uh, this is Figaro, the desert castle. It's interesting to me that they took us from a snowy town instantly to a desert one. I did think that when we were on the world map before, very briefly. I thought, oh, wow, we're already like in a desert place. Like, I skipped having a random encounter in any grass areas and any forest areas and then instantly was in one of the desert. I suppose I could have done a lot of grinding there too. I don't know how much that will be required of us by the way, but in these let's plays for what it's worth guys, I'm not just gonna you know, dump up every video, every every moment. If there's a if there's a period where it's like I should grind for something or whatever, I'm very happy to play off screen so you know, you don't, I will cut out the tedium basically. The advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. I get kind of an ominous vibe of this place. Like, it's too happy, it's too capable, it's too friendly. Like, the whole thing's about to get attacked or something. And then, because, I mean, what's get, we, we need to keep moving on, right? The, the story must continue. Oh, that's so weird that I'm forced back into the world map. I guess they didn't do anything there. Halt! Oh, it's you, proceed. Yeah, thank you. Well, I don't know. What, what should we do, maybe? I kind of just want to go find Lock and Co again. Hello, who are you? The Figaro Castle engine room is down those stairs. The engines are currently undergoing maintenance, so we could be ready to move at a moment's notice if the need arises. Oh, it totally does move. But that doesn't mean it flies, though. It might just be like a tank. I'm sorry, I can't let you go down there. It's too dangerous. Or you don't want me snooping around like a spy? And are you blocking a door up there? No, that's not a door. I need to get used to the fact that the mini-map has those little yellow arrows that show you can go... ...through some kind of environment or not. We didn't check this left doorway, did we? <clears throat> we spoke to the guy, but we didn't come in here, I don't think. Rest for a bit? Um, sure, if it'll let me speak to these lovely handmaidens. Oh, God, the way I'm sleeping there with the woman staring at me. I finished that movie. I can't remember if I mentioned this in part one or if it was in the shadow of the Tomb Raider episodes. I mentioned to you guys that I was watching a movie about um, an understated movie, um, you know, in that genre, as Netflix calls it. 
about a woman in Ireland, an English woman who goes to Ireland after the Great Famine to check out this girl that all the, uh, you know, evangelicals there are calling a miracle girl that she doesn't need to eat. And she needs to watch over her. And it has kind of an interesting story, but it's it's like 40 minutes too long. And um, basically was a huge disappointment. I really wanted to like it, but I don't recommend it. I can't even remember the name of the movie at this point, but... Uh, yeah, it was it was a bit of a letdown, let's see. Not too long ago, the king tried to hit on the... <laughs> wow, they used that phrase? Hit on? Not too long ago, the king... Tr and by the way, the, the reason I mention that story is it has it, the, the nun in that stares at the girl while she sleeps. Which is what made me think of that. Okay, not too long ago, the king tried to hit on the high priestess. Oh, did she ever let him have it? Okay, who's the high priestess? It's not terror, is it? I mean, they would recognize her, surely. It's not that there was a high priestess who disappeared for, you know, many years. No, but they say not too long ago. So when they say the king, I assume it's the guy I just met. Oh, did she ever let him have it? I'm sure he's made a pass or two at you already, hasn't he? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. How is the happy ending of this game going to be? Does it end with those two hooking up? <laughs> Uh, our king showers his attention on women. Young, old, pretty or plain, no one is safe. It's funny, I feel like you couldn't write dialogue like that anymore because people would take it too, like, matter-of-factly. And that's obviously not the vibe I think that they're going for there. Okay. This is Figaro, the desert castle. I'm assuming resting there healed me too, by the way. Hello. Edgar has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. A twin brother who didn't get to be king? Sounds like he might be an antagonist. Oh, we're in a cutscene. Sounds quite like he might be a, you know, a dark knight or an antagonist or something. Oh, no, is this him? Oh, no, no, this is Edgar himself. Edgar, what's wrong with dad? Why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind? Haven't you seen him? Wait, 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 hold on. Edgar, is Edgar's dad still around? So Edgar's dad's still the king? So he's only a prince for now. I just thought he was a king because he was in the chair. Am I getting mistaken? Are you blind? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar. Oh my god. Is there, are there any real world historical examples of a king having twin boys as his eldest? Because that would be so interesting, wouldn't it? I mean, I've just come out of watching House of the Dragon, which I really loved. And, you know, all the Song of Ice and Fire, all George R.R. R. Martin stuff in his main series is basically about wars of succession, right? And it's kind of like fantasy history, because he himself is a bit of a, a history buff. And um, I'm just now realising that would be really, really interesting, wouldn't it? Like, how do you decide? The first one to come out and someone has to take note? It'd be very easy to lie about that or make an alternate claim. Are you crying? I doubt that. that has, what I'm wondering is, has that ever happened in the real world? Edgar's twin brother who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabin. Jesus Christ, I don't... I'm so blind with this. I don't know. I've never heard of Sabin as a Final Fantasy character. Sabin and Edgar. Oh my God, I did it again. I'm an idiot. Yeah, if anyone knows in the comments or the live chat of that being an example, I would love to hear it. Um, yes, Sabin. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, Sabin. I'm sure he's a fine young... Oh, I, I understand. It was a flashback. Bear with me, guys, all right? Um, I've got a little bit of, you know, stupidity and cloudiness to, to, to get through. It was a flashback to years ago as the king was dying... And he got passed up. I get it. Okay. Ah, yes, Sam. And he, I'm sure he's a fine man by now. Young man by now. He was just a boy when he left. Even smaller than his brother. I wonder where he is now and what he's doing. Possibly vengeful? <clears throat> he cried. So he wanted the, the throne. Is that why he was crying? Edgar is simply unbelievable. First the nurse, then me. This man hits on anything that moves. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a woman, to be honest. I'm as, and I'm assuming they're not doing a gay thing because it's 1994. But they might be. It did say anything that moves. His Majesty, or should we say Pam, not just gay. His Majesty said he'd married me when I get old, when I get old enough. <laughs> That's quite nice. 
You got uh, you got this comment and then a very young girl immediately there. <coughs> what is this? Is this Edgar's bed? The question is, that little girl patrolling around, can I get past her to get up the stairs? Or is she like sneakily blocking me? If she's not sneakily blocking me, it's kind of weird the way that they've done this. Can you let me up, please? Like, it's weird that I would have to wait for the right random RNG. She is moving randomly. The question is, when she comes down, does she come down far enough? One. Two. Yes, she does. Wow, weird. Weird little situation there. Hello. The Gestalian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. Hold on, what? I thought they were up here. Weren't we even further north at Narsh a minute ago and they were there? Okay. Or maybe that, they were, that was just a few guys. Oh, she's just standing. To, oh, no, she's not. Oh, maybe there's a trick you can do where you like exit the screen and then run back in real quick and she's... Reset her position and you can get up there pretty pretty comfortably. Okay, I think I've explored the whole castle now, haven't I? <clears throat> you never know, there's usually some kind of sneaky weird room that you can get to. But I don't know, this has already been quite complex with a lot of locations and people to speak to. It's interesting, I saw in uh, at least two of the comments from you guys, people saying how much this looks like RPG Maker to you. And I, I, it's funny people say that because you can kind of see it's actually games like this that influence RPG Maker itself to be what it is. Okay, so what? I'm just supposed to chill out? <coughs> I could leave, but I only have Terra in my party. Before I do that... Also, yeah, while we're here, let's look. The world map. The two southern continents. So what does that mean exactly? Is this a continent and this one? These two? Alright, before I do that though, um, yeah, let me in. I'm just gonna go back up to the throne room real quick and see if there was a way to go like behind the throne or something. Like, what are these icons here? They're door icons, but they seem to have very. Oh, look at this. Welcome! Oh, it's a shop. Oh, I guess that icon means shop. Do you guys think I should buy anything? It's always good to have a couple of antidotes. We have 5,000 gil already. You never know. Eventually, I might need these. Cure silence, cure pet, cure poison. I'm not going to buy a 10. That's a bit pricey. Bit pricey. Whenever I say that, I always make myself think of um, phone jacker. Oh, well, speaking of gold needles, there's one. Is he happy for me to do that? I kind of feel like that's me stealing from his wares. <laughs> Apparently twins coming out first are in fact the older twin. But if the first is the girl, the boy is still the heir. Well, yeah, that makes sense. What I'm wondering though, they might have a rule. Some countries might have a rule in place for it of, or historically have had it. I'm wondering if it ever actually happened, you know. Because it seems like a nightmare. Oh, we got weapons. Okay, auto crossbow. Unfortunately, it's not giving me a little icon showing which of my party members can use it, right? Noise Blaster confuses all enemies with a blast of sound used with the tools command. Oh wait, or are these skills? Maybe they're skills. Attacks and inflicts poison to all enemies using the tool. So this is gonna probably like a skill type where, or an ability type, let me put it that way. Where you buy the new abilities as you go along and they're themed as items but it says there's i have a stock oh do you know what this is this is probably just like use item isn't it like in some of the other games like the use command i mean i've got the money let's do it i'm not exactly a frugal person as i play these games as you guys probably well know thank you all right one last bit to check the very top behind the throne now does that mean i didn't speak to you the king's brother was so disgusted by the manner of the succession that he fled the castle, never looking back. Why was he disgusted by it? I've heard tell that the entire matter was settled by the flip of a coin. 
because maybe they didn't track who came out first or I don't know maybe there are other reasons why the younger brother had a better claim popular vote whatever I heard the Castalian Empire got its hands on something called magic now that Gustav has the power of Magitek at his command, he set his sights on world domination. Ah, okay, I get it. <clears throat> Old world had magic. This guy managed to get his hands on it, infused it into his technology, and now he's taken over the world. This is so weird, guys, because this feels old to me, as in, like, I've experienced this story a hundred times before. But it's so unfair for me to criticize Final Fantasy VI for that, because it, it... It is the original incident of it, you know, if you look at like 15, <coughs> Evil Empire develops Magitech. It's the same story. It's the same story. But what, but it really, it's 15 that should get the criticism for being old, not this one. But because of the order I've played, uh, he's here, he's just sitting around. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, there's someone from the Empire to see you, sire. I'm glad I came back in here. I just had an instinct. Maybe that was the thing to do. Kefka, no doubt. So who's Kefka? I get that he was the... He put us in the machine, right? Fooey! Emperor Gestalt's stupid orders! I'm going to voice him like the Joker. Ed... No, <laughs> no I'm not, because I can't do the voice. Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live out in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits! He's got a very whimsical theme, hasn't he? Listen to this music. Ahem, there's sand on my boots. Oh, is, are they brushing him down? So he's like really prissy, is he? All gone, sir. Oh my god, he sounds like Bowser. What was that? Pathetic idiots. Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you out of my way? Oh, weird, there was no loading screen. Don't I get a loading screen when I go through that door? Holy shit, I'm suddenly playing as um, Edgar. Oh, he just nods at me. You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? Oh, wow, I spoke to him, and yet it's me that's getting voiced first. That's also cool. You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. An alliance with this miserable little sandpit? Don't make me laugh. And yeah, they're going to break the pact. I hear you've been busy down south, taking over a country or three. Just what is the Empire up to? That's none of your concern. What brings Emperor Gestal's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? Okay, so he's Gestal's court mage. But it's obviously... I'm sorry, I'm drinking my coffee there. Sorry if I slurped into the mic. I talked about that a little bit yesterday. <laughs> that was a total accident. Um... It's obviously meant to make us think of a court jester, I guess, right? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she'd found refuge here. So there are spies that have reported on this. This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. <laughs> I've been collecting them. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar, you only know to, you uh, you know only uh, sorry you know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. I mean, we have tech too. Can we not fight back a little bit, maybe? Are you gonna go go to war over a rumor of us harboring? Terror? Figaro has an alliance with the Empire. We do. I am your king. You should speak to me differently. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. I'm still impressed, nonetheless. I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Terror? Here she is. Terror's a bit of a nothing right now, you know? She's not really even a character. She just sort of wanders around. Uh, take her to her room. <clears throat> I'd love to stay in chat. But the Chancellor and I have some planning to do. Being a king's not all team crumpets. Now, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. Okay. Oh, I actually get to follow him as well.
It's kind of cool to think about all the things that they realised they could do with the SNES. <clears throat> like, I don't know which was the first game on that console, by the way, either. Oh, uh, let me say as well, um... I was wrong in the previous part. Someone set me right in the comments. Uh... I think it was the, like, one came to the United States, and then, like, four came to the States, but it was called two. And then six came, but it was called three, or something like that. It was more complicated than I thought it was. Hmm. Wait, where did he go? Shit. He did come down here, didn't he? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest. I'm... Lock, right? Wow, we're only just doing our introduction. I tend to think, I don't know about you guys, alright, but when we're in a world map in these games, you know, everything, the, 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 the concept of travel becomes abstracted, right? And so the idea of, like, <clears throat> how many days are passing as you wander, you know, the idea that you have a tent or a, or a sleeping bag or whatever is an item and so on, I tend to think it's like time is moving fast during that period. You know, like, there's a whole adventure there, really, but it's just being represented rather than shown. Um, so it's funny to me to then see them here introducing themselves, which means my co my thought of how world maps work probably doesn't work here. I guess it was just an afternoon's walk from a snowy town to a desert. I don't know, maybe we say Nash is just in the mountains, right? High altitude or something. But that wouldn't make it... Well, I don't know, maybe it would. Lock, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true that you're a thief? I'm a treasure hunter. On the surface... Edgar pre pretends to support the Empire, but the truth is he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go-between. The old man you met in Nash is one of us too. The Empire? But I'm an Imperial soldier. Not anymore, they were using you, that's all. Things are different now. I'm really curious where this is all going. It's just, I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. Try not to think too hard right now. You know what you want to do when the time comes. That's very honest and nice of him, considering the fact that we could, in theory, just go back to the Empire then. But how will I know which choice is right? Edgar. What in the... Oh god, are we being attacked at night? Oh no! Those have to be new fire effects, right? There's actual bloom on them. What's going on? It's the Empire! Kefka, he... What do you think you're doing? Bring me the girl, now! I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, then enjoy the barbecue! <laughs> I have no idea what you... So... The castle, yes. <laughs> I like that. They've changed their dialogue now. <laughs> the castle's on fire. Fire, fire. <laughs> All right. Get her ready, yes, sire. Hold on, that's not the way to our quarters, though. Oh, God, I skipped a dialogue. I don't know what it said. I think I saw the word fleet. Did I see the word fleet there? It seems I have no choice. I was sort of half blinking. Oh, the chocobo fleet. Or perhaps I do! That was quite cool. There's a trope in Final Fantasy of people jumping off of walls and landing on animals. Oh my! The brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful! <laughs> Jump! All right, sink her into the sand. Oh my god, it's not what I thought it was at all. Is it an underground moving castle? Yahoo! Oh wow, so it can move, but it goes down. That would put the fire out. I mean, if you're gonna smother it with sand. Oh, this is cool! Figaro dive mode engaged. <clears throat> wow. Witness the glory of Figaro, says the Chancellor. I hate that name, by the way. Figaro? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. But it's a weird name for a place, don't you guys think? There's something about the I don't know, balance of consonants and vowels in there. He's quite cool. He's bad, but he's kind of comedic as well, you know? <clears throat> 
go, kill them! Oh, mechs versus chocobos. Oh, we're gonna have a fight here, surely. Okay, back attack. Hmm. Back attack indeed. Metal kick. I imagine if you just get destroyed here now and you realize that it's because you didn't grind enough during the previous sequence. So now you have to do all that story again. Okay, so should I use these items? I'm assuming I can't poison them, so I'm just gonna use that. Oh man. What's the matter, Edgar? What made you Oh my god, we get story in the in the uh, fight! What's the matter, Edgar? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? Did, did, did you just see what I just saw? You did, right? No, I didn't see shit. Yeah, this kid's really something, huh? Really something? Oh, he saw the magic, I see. <clears throat> that was magic, magic. This is cool, I didn't think they'd do this. It's also a bit weird that the guys in the mechs are just standing around waiting for us to chat, but hey, that's fine. But magic? She used magic? And then they whisper, wait, so hold on this whole fucking time? Edgar didn't even know. But he suggested he did know about her abilities. What did he think her abilities were? Or was he just bluffing that whole conversation? Terra. Your name was Terra, right? What what exactly was that just now? I'm sorry, I... Oh god, she's so like demure. No, we're the ones who should be apologising. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. <clears throat> Nor did I, it just surprised me. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... It doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Terra can use magic and we can't, that's all there is to it. The fact is, her magic could really help us right now. I've just realised in the description of this video I've typed her name wrong. It's two R's, not one, but hey, whatever. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. I hope she comes alive, because right now she's like that boring, like, weak swoon. <laughs> Look at their faces here, by the way. Oh, they had the greatest expressions on their faces for a second. There's auto crossbow. Let's see how much damage it did. 100 each. That's not bad, eh? Now, I'm wondering if Terra should start healing. She should probably heal herself. Oh, God, do you know what? I think it's active, and I've got it going very fast here. It's actually kind of... It's a little bit trickier than I thought it'd be. Do you see she only had 13 HP? Bravo, Figaro! <clears throat> Son of a sandworm. Can I just say, by the way, if um, if he becomes a super big deal, like a horrible evil villain or whatever, if the whole story becomes about him, which my instinct says it might be, um, we really should have just fucked him up there. It's, it's three on one. Come on, let's get in there. Son of a sandworm, you'll pay for this. That was great. <clears throat> Were those bad people? I'm scared. Of course, the bad thing there is that it, that is confirmation. Terra, there's something we'd like you to meet that they were harboring her. But, I mean, they've attacked anyway already, so whatever. Like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Wait, Edgar's not even the leader. Magic is going to be key to winning this war. Magic? That Esper reacted to, to your magical powers. There's got to be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with the powers you have. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. Terra, you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Bannon. He may be able to help you find out more why you have them. Please, Edgar's right. There's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. I think we heard about South Figaro earlier, didn't we? It was alluded to very briefly. Wow, look at this. Man, did the world map really look this cool before? In the original? Um, okay, so... You know, what I really want to do is get the big world map, but I can't remember where I found that before. Let's first of all, though, real fast, use a potion to heal Terra because she's very low. We can also heal Locke there. Potions are only 50 HP, so that wasn't really a waste. Then we'll quick save. I think MPs should be fine for now. 
Now, can I not mess with the formation and move her back? Would that not defend her in some way? They haven't really explained the mechanic. Maybe if I went back to Nash, they would, because there was that trainer's place, wasn't there? She's such a low level, too. Level 5? Edgar came in at 8. Does that mean that they expected me to at least have got locked at 8 before I arrived? He looks ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> okay, um, probably my favourite so far. I don't know how to get the big map up. I can't remember. Oh, I definitely want to, don't want to press left shift to disembark. So we're on Chocobo back. This is a really nice action-packed intro to the game. So it looks to me, guys, that this little dot here, it's really nice having a cursor, um, is probably where we want to go. I wonder if there's secrets and things, though. Oh, wow, we scrolled out of the desert so fast, this unreal. I like it that they managed to place us exactly in the middle so that no matter where I rotated, you couldn't see any other terrain. Oh my god, that's such a short walk. Oh, no, this dot maybe just means forest? Oh god, if I spin too much, it's going to make people sick, isn't it? I don't really get sick, but I know that people have very low tolerances for stuff. Um, what I will say as well, by the way, is um, there's probably an option to get rid of the... Uh, what do you call this effect? I mostly think of Sonic with this effect. I don't know about you guys. I think about one of those bonus stages in Sonic where you run around getting like all the balloons or whatever it is. I really wanted a uh, an encounter, but I guess I can't get one. Do I have to disembark to go in the cave? Oh, maybe you can't get encounters on Chocobo back. That's probably the idea, isn't it? Maybe I should have utilized that Chocobo for something else. Oh, I see. That effect's only there on the Chocobo. Oh, I like the grass. <clears throat> Hello. Queer! The original, well, it's not the original query. King Edgar, where are you headed, sire? Through the cave and eastward to South Figaro. We'll then make for the returner headquarters in the north. Return to the castle and pass the word along. Understood, sire. Take care. Uh, I guess I probably could have come to this entrance before and that guard would have been standing there and he would have said, who are you? Fuck off, basically. Okay, what's the cave called? Sorry, I missed it because I was looking at my keyboard. <clears throat> oh, South Figaro cave first floor. Oh, look at that water effect. That's nice. Recovery spring. So that heals us, does it? Oh, and the little turtle! Oh, I want I want it. <clears throat> There's a room up there, too. How do I actually get into it? Guess we'll figure it out later. I'm not running much, but it feels like when would I want to run? I'm just going to get an encounter quickly. Oh, hornets. Alright. Let's continue to steal. Also, by the way, even though we have a stock of these, it didn't seem to use the stock up when I used the auto crossbow before. Did you guys notice that? Oh, I didn't AOE that. That's fine, though. Probably don't need to. Yeah. Oh, I really need to start looking at the minimap more, because if there's not hidden items or hidden chests, I really don't need to walk into all those little rooms. <clears throat> What are these things? Uroch. They look like maggots. Very gross. It's called Mode 7. Is that what it is? Oh, and it's only when you ride any vehicle. Oh, guys, in the live chat, you're being so useful. This is awesome. I really like this idea of doing blind playthroughs online and then people can just, like, chip in. I also just really like this idea of people watching these videos and just having, like, a, a little something extra to watch scroll by. Obviously, you can't full screen the video with that, but hey. Wait, so that was all just an optional area for an ether? Oh, I see. Yeah, I want to go to the right here. <clears throat> I hope everyone's having a good day, by the way. Oh, what are these? Foppers. There's a good enemy variety, eh? I mean, it's easy easier to get a good enemy variety when it's basically just, you know, some pixel art. They don't even have, like, idle animations or anything. But those are weird, because I don't think I've seen anything like that in any other Final Fantasy. Oh, I need to... I've currently got a real problem. Um, I haven't done much today, but I've got a real problem, right? Which is that my Hoover... I've got one of those, like, Henry Hoovers. I don't know whether only UK people will know what the hell I'm talking about there. But it's like, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a Hoover on wheels with... A, like a little circular Hoover on wheels with a nozzle. And, um... Yeah, we'll get lock up. And then tear a little bit. Edgar seems to be doing fine. 
And um, it, when I turn it on, it still has a lot of suction power. Like I can feel it. Like I put my hand at the end of the nozzle, and it will. It really is pulling hard. But when I put the attachment on it, the like uh, you know wide rectangular front head attachment that you would actually slide across the floor, um, it seems to lose all of its strength. Like if I then put my hand over the hole. It's the, it's just so weak, and it's so it's getting such a pain to hoover. Like I have to go over the same patch of floor like 10, 15 times just to sort of feel like I've got a bit of value out of it. And it's I, I don't know what it is, but the, the the problem I have is I can't just take the attachment off because then I, all I have is a really thin tube, and it won't. You know that that's even worse. So I don't know whether I should buy another attachment or like. But I feel like. It must just be that there's a leak somewhere, you know, within it, like the air is leaking. So I've like been cleaning it and getting all the like little hair and dust out of it and running water through it and seeing... But I just, I can't, I can't imagine where it's leaking air. I can't feel air coming out of anywhere else. So it's just frustrating me. And it's one of those weird things where it's like, I can just sort of deal with it and just hoover harder each time. But I've been sort of dealing with it and I think it's been getting progressively worse for about a year now. And, you know, there is a point where you just have to bite the bullet and buy a new attachment, so... I don't know. But, yeah, I woke up today and I saw the carpet and I only recently hoovered and it still looks like it's, like, dusty or whatever. And, um, yeah, not not too fun. So that's my uh, fascinating story of my day day to day so far. But you can't blame me. I mean, I pretty much started recording this around lunch. Hmm. Okay, that cave wasn't too bad. What are these trees? Oh, wow, look at that background. Is that a remaster thing? I mean, it definitely is. But I wonder how it looked originally. That's not bad, you know. Actually, I think in that art, in the background there, with the mountains and the trees, and you know, quite a lot of detail on the grass, the rocks and stuff, I think you can instantly see why it was that in 7, they had ended up being really keen on the pre-rendered backgrounds for 7, which were just completely gorgeous. Okay, so so let me let me get this straight here. I think big yellow squares might be caves. Silver dots might be towns. This is Figaro. Because there was a cave up at Nash too, right? Uh, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Anyway, oh look, a little town. South Figaro. Oh, it's very cozy. This is like the Niflheim equivalent, I guess. Our shops carry weapons, armor, and relics of the utmost quality. Welcome to South Figaro. Who are you? I want to follow... Is he running away from me? Dude, he was totally running away from me. He's like a ninja guy. Is he going to be another party member? Beyond Mount Coat lies the Sabre Mountains. I just want to shut up and let us listen to the music. Oh, this is a Chocobo Ranch for sure. I just saw the Chocobo on the sign. Let me teach you how to ride a Chocobo. Press the confirm button or up on the directional pad to move forwards. Change course by pressing left or right. Press the L button to change the view. Oh, I could have rotated the camera, I guess, could I? You can also control it the same as well when walking. You can dismount by tapping the cancel button, but be, be, be careful. The bird will return to its pen as soon as you get off. 80 gil for a chocobo ride, how about it? What will, it will this kick me to the world map? Oh, we get a cute little animation there. <clears throat> Ooh, what was that little grunt thing? Did the chocobo like... Oh wow, it's a part of the song. Well, there's not much I can do with it right now, is there, Jesus? I'm looking forward to be able to get over these rocks, which quite frustratingly seem to like bounce me away here. By the way, hold on. What's that? Is that another little outpost? Is this like a missable area? <clears throat> Duncan's cabin. Is that a grave? No, it's like a cabbage patch or something, I guess. Hmm, what's that smell? <clears throat> oh, I'm playing as Edgar now. Is 
this tier was his favourite. Wait, you know Duncan? Sorry, I'm not a complete idiot. The twin wasn't called Duncan, was it? I've forgotten the twin's name at the moment. These dishes, they're like the ones he always used. These flowers, he always liked these. They sleep in his bed. Oh, we actually can. Breath for a bit? No, I'm alright. We probably will have to fight some enemies on the way back. Oh, that's the same again. It's really interesting to me that there's exactly three beds here and we have three party members. Okay. I I've obviously sequence broken this. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. Could Sabin be living here? Okay, we are talking about the twin. But it's called Duncan's Cabin. Did Sabin change his name? But they just let me name him. Hey. Do you happen to know where I could find the man who lives here? Sure do. Left a couple of days ago, as soon as he heard Master Duncan had been killed. Headed up into the mountains. They say Duncan's son Vargas is missing too. I don't like it one bit. Oh my god, all these characters. Okay. So Duncan lived here with his son Vargas and another guy. Duncan and Vargas leave. Duncan dies. Vargas might be around. The guy that stayed here, possibly our twin brother, went to chase after them. Oh, weird. Oh, is this optional? Is this missable? Is there, are there missable party members in this? And like, like Final Fantasy always used to be very big for stuff like that. And we're definitely in that era. I told you guys that I've played 4 before. Little interesting bit of information for you, maybe, on that. I actually never finished 4. Because 4 had a thing where party members would come and go and you could never predict it. And it was, there was a thing where it's like, okay, you have to get this party member to a certain level or teach them a certain ability. Because if they don't have that ability when they leave your party, when they return later, you'll miss out on something, you know? Like, they'll get new abilities if you had done certain stuff beforehand. But it was totally unpredictable. And I didn't realise that was going on until, like, super late. I think I got to, like, the moon or something. Four was very cool. It had, like, a moon and it had an underground and stuff. I really, really liked Four. And again, it, it felt much more modern than this because I was playing on the DS with 3D and stuff. But, um, so I kind of just burned out of it. I don't know whether 6 will do a lot of similar stuff like that. What kind of dummies would go and make the Empire mad? I don't know. Should we go into that ninja? Well, I gotta, let's, this is a big place. I thought it was gonna be quite small. Let's just take each room one by one. Also, no fights again on the world map. I wonder when, I wonder if it will really come to war. Maybe I should return home now before it's too late. Oh, we can interact with the barrel. Obtain a phoenix down. You know what I'm trying to remember? You remember I got that elixir in the previous part when I interacted with that cabinet, with that wardrobe? I didn't get an exclamation mark with that, right? So maybe there are hidden items. Like, routinely around the game. What did you say again? Where's your home, I wonder? It looks like there's an exit up there, but how do I... Oh, okay, it's just a second. The city's eastern border, so attacking from there would... Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Barging in here when I'm trying to write a letter. Hmph. Oh, uh, sorry. I may be the richest man in town, but even that doesn't keep me from being styled. These people don't seem to react very much to the fact that they're speaking to Edgar, right? In fact, by the way, I'm controlling Edgar here. Is that because he's just in Formation 1? If I do this, am I going to be Locke? No, I'm just straight up Edgar. They want me to be Edgar in this town, do they? Okay. Ooh. There's always a nasty draft in this room. Oh, where is it coming from? I'm afraid I'll catch a cold. It sounds like it's haunted. Or what are they hinting at? That there's a secret exit? Which the minimap makes it look like. Oh... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One thing I have to say, guys. I, you remember I said that there was a patch for this game in, like, July this year. And it's weird, because it's like a game from 1994 is getting updates. Um, there was a bunch of stuff in the patch notes about the minimap. And I'm now wondering, is the minimap new? Is that a new addition for this version? 
and therefore a thing like this was this like a big secret once but it's been ruined for me because I have a mini map and there's the little yellow triangle there like she clearly is just hinting that there's a secret exit I'll have to look that up. What I'll do is e each new part, I'll go away and I'll find some new information, some new trivia, and we'll have like a good, like, we'll have a blind yet informed run, right? We'll do the best of both worlds. Because that's totally possible. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, people in the live chat are saying, I don't remember a minimap. Yeah, there you go. The minimap was added to this version of the game. Also, it's kind of cheaty. Okay, so here's the thing then. I guess I'll give you a bit of trivia I know from that. Someone in the comments, or like the, you know, you get the patch notes on Steam and then you can even comment on the patch notes. Someone in there said, you know, it's not fixed because apparently there's a config option to disable it. Oh, I don't know where it is. Apparently there's an option to disable it, but it's not permanent. Like when you change maps, it just pops back up again. Do you know what? I'm kind of happy for it to be a little bit on rails, though. So is this whole section of the castle just like a big-ass secret? Wait, we're not even in a castle, are we? We're in a... Do you know what this 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 feels like? This is like a secret um, underground... An old clock, and it's not ticking. This is like a, a secret underground, like, escape passage. Do you know what this reminds me of? People who played my 12 run-through recent... Uh, people who watched my 12 run-through, or have played 12. It's like when you're fleeing after the fate in Rabanasta and when Vaughn finds the nether site empty oh yeah you can see in the bottom right here my steam achievement pops up I did tell you guys I'd put the overlay on so I'm guessing that's an achievement for getting lots of gill so we should see that extra little bit of value and I say with absolutely no irony I really like getting steam achievements in fact oh did I tell you guys I played cookie clicker recently I reinstalled it and replayed it. Um, okay, so there's another heal, save point, whatever. What I think's happening here is I think I'm coming in a reverse direction of a story thing later or something. Um, but yeah, Cookie Clicker on Steam, like it's really cheap, but it's fun because all the achievements that are in that game for like progression are, uh, are Steam achievements. So I got like 500 Steam achievements from playing that game, which is just absurd. Um, I also kind of cheated. The thing with Cookie Clicker is it has this time-gated mechanic. The last time I played it was like three years ago or something. So what I did with my file, my other file, my like website file, I uh, I sort of cheated on my new Steam file to give myself all the time-gated stuff that I had earned, air quotes, and it kind of accelerated me through the game really fast. I still love the game though. It's very interesting. Like, I, I think it's more art than a game. It basically, it completely deconstructs the idea of an RPG. Oh, Hermes Sandals, nice. Is that like auto haste? Is, does haste exist? Let's have a look. Because it basically, it says, okay, let's take all gameplay away and let's just have progression. You know, it abstracts the idea of what get meaningful gameplay is to just the most simple thing possible for a PC game or, or a touch game on a, on a mobile. A click, a tap, that's it. There is no gameplay. And then it shows that you can make a video game even without gameplay because the entire thing is about progression. And it's, it's a little bit of strategy game too, I suppose. So is that a relic? It is. It is, oh my god, auto haste. Winged sandals, enchanted for speed, cast haste on the wearer. Wow, they've given me that to, that, that, that to me way, early, way too early. Oh, we also have a hyper wrist, studded bracelet that radiates a mysterious power and boosts the wearer's strength. So let's see here, real quick, right? Locke has 37 strength. Terra has 31. Edgar has 39. And he has a sword and shield, a mithril sword. So I'm guessing Edgar, it, it might just be that his gear is slightly better, but I'm guessing he is like, is like a, well, he's called a machinist. I don't really attack with him, do I? I use items with him. I think I attack with Locke most, so I'm going to give him the hyperist. The thing is, I also steal with him. So I don't know. But we'll see. And then what I think I'll do is I will actually give Terra the auto haste so that she can cast Cure in a pinch. Or, you know, she can just get through her black magic a bit quicker. That might cause us to drain our MP a little bit more regularly, but I think that's fine. I feel very rewarded for having come here. And a prison here as well. I wonder if we'll be dealing with this soon. 
I'm really shocked at what balance there is of town exploration and conversation versus combat so far. The combat's been really minimal, eh? But again, maybe that's the remaster. I wonder if the remaster lowered the encounter rates. That's so weird. That's really cool. She doesn't know there's a secret passage behind her bookshelf. I read a thing online the other day about some um, castle in Europe. I think it was in Germany? I don't know where it was. It was somewhere on mainland Europe. Um, like a well-visited, well, you know, top traffic, touristed castle for the past, like, hundred years. And, you know, lived in and stuff for the hundreds of years before that. And they discovered there was a secret passage there. Leading from like one area to another that no one knew about. It blows my mind that that's even possible. You'd think that like all that stuff would be a known quantity by now, but it's pretty cool. There is still magic out there in the world, guys. There are still secrets to be found. Okay, yeah, welcome to South Figaro. Okay, did I talk to you? I love the water effects. This just looks so cool, doesn't it? Look at the the sheen here, the sun glinting off of the surface. What kind of dummies would go and make the Empire mad? I spoke to you already. Oh god, I'm doing this so chaotically, aren't I? The big house at the north end of town belongs to the richest family here. Yeah, I went there just now. He was writing something about the war. This town's defences are tight. Even with their magitic armour, the Imperials won't find it easy to get inside. Okay. Wait, so this town has magitech too? It's not just the Empire that has it? My husband, Duncan, is a martial artist. He's famous he, he, He's famous even in Figaro to the north. He took his student to Mount, Mount Colts for meditation and training. So he probably won't be back for a while. Didn't, that's the guy whose cabin, right? Didn't they suggest he might have died? Mm. Coffee getting cold. This video is 50 minutes long now. And I made this coffee right before I recorded. So it's interesting that it still has any warmth to it. This is weird. This feels strange to me. Why are there so many just random little... I mean, with quick save available, it doesn't really matter much, does it? <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if the quick save function was also new. Wasn't it a thing about, like, the RAM in the cartridge or something, though, back before? Like, quick save would work as long as you hadn't powered the console off, but you needed to do a main save. Other is that the thing? Now I'm assuming it's just a way to save without navigating and selecting a file, you know, you'll always put it onto that. You know, it's like pressing F5 in a Valve game or whatever. My grand- or F4, whichever one it is. My grandpa used to be a servant in the richest family. Hello, sir. I don't like strangers. Bring me some cider and maybe I'll talk to you. <laughs> That's the way it should be done. You know, every NPC should have a little, you know, affection meter and there's some good item you can give them just like how stardew does it okay back door there the problem here is i don't really know what my aim is right now Pro oh i do know actually we're going to um the ninja guy that's the same house i just explored where's this an item shop magic genie lamp welcome yeah okay I've used a good few potions haven't I but um, we still have a stock of 10 I guess because I've been finding them let's get five eye drops just to be safe on those as well thank you can I get up those stairs I guess not Head east and you'll see Mount Colts. Okay. Before we go down to those shops, let's just check here. This is the northern wall, right? Is that a secret entrance? No? Anything with these barrels? Hey, teleport stone. What's a teleport stone do? Enchanted with a teleport spell. Removes the party from a dungeon or battle. Oh, so it's like an escape rope. Okay. I think the only place left to check then is down here. In these two. Oh, wait, hold on. What about that watermill? 
It's, it's not an entrance to the water mill, though. I actually do kind of want to buy some new equipment here, if it's possible. So he's the armor guy. Oh, this is cool. I've just realized this is like the classic setup where both shops are connected. This is the weapon shop. We're going to come out of the weapon door here, right? Yeah, cool. I like that. All right, so I guess we'll look at weapons first. Good offense is also a good defense. So prioritize these first. So there's a great sword. Attack plus 54. So this would benefit Edgar. Locke can't equip it. So yeah, I guess for any new watchers of Final Fantasy, just potentially out there, I moused over the greatsword here, okay? You can see my party members down here. Now, if they're dancing and cheering, that means they can equip it. If they're just standing, they're not doing anything, they can't equip it. And then, as we learned in episode one, a green up thing means it would be uh, beneficial to them. So, I could buy one for Terra, which is interesting, but the thing is, Terra mostly casts magic. So, why would I want to do that? Greatsword is the only new item here as well, for what it's worth. We, oh, no, we could give Locke a mithril knife. Hold on, it says stock and equipped already, though. Oh, Terra has a Mithril Knife equipped. Can Terra just use anything? No, not anything. Of the main weapons, she seems right. Okay, I think what I'll do, okay, is I will buy an extra Mithril Knife. And that's going to get equipped on lock. And I will buy a great sword. It's a shame it doesn't prompt us with the equipped thing, shall we? For Edgar. Now, we could mouse through manually, like so. Or what we can do is just um, hit optimal. So there you go. I didn't give him a relic, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, and then with that done, we can go and we can sell the Mithril Sword we're no longer using. I mean, there's a chance maybe I'll get another character that will use it later, but I mean... It's not much money to worry about for now. And the spare dagger, we can sell that as well. It doesn't look like there's any kind of like loot or, you know, just items just for selling right now. Maybe there are, but there's not like a whole category. Okay, so that's fine. And then real quickly, let's get some new armor. And the game's been vaguely scary enough that I actually feel like this, um, this is good. So this is interesting. It's a great sword, but I hope you can still use a shield with it. Okay, so I'm going to buy a heavy shield for both. I could buy a heavy shield for all three of them. A hairband for Terra. A plumed hat for Edgar and Locke. A robe for Terra and a Kenpo Gi. The lock and then what we'll do real quick here in the future when we're at shops we'll save the equipping till we've done everything we'll just go optimal on everything i suppose i could sell my old armor but let's not let's not dilly dally for too long here okay so we got new equipment we found all the items here i'm assuming there's some story location that we didn't do which would be this house wait am i getting it wrong again where, where did the ninja go it was that one there on the left wasn't it it's such a dreamy, sleepy, sweet quality to the atmosphere in here. Wait, let me just check. Oh, this is an item shop. Oh, my lord. Hello. You can gain all kinds of abilities by equipping relics. These shoes double my wa walking speed. Watch this. <laughs> nice. All right, he runs upstairs. A Moogle? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your walking speed. A gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands to increase damage. The Knight's Code makes you shield others in combat. Dragoon boots allow you to perform jobs. Yeah, we read all this. I don't really feel like walk speed is that necessary when I can run at any moment. I mean, how long are these corridors and how wide open are these fields going to get that that's going to feel like it matters much? Shoes enchanted to make the wearer move faster. Double walking speed. I mean, that's just so bizarre, isn't it? Silver rimmed uh, spectacles prevent dark. A star shaped pendant with a jewel at its center to prevent poison. A handsome ring set with a large gemstone prevents petrification. And the Knight's Code causes the bearer to cover critically wounded allies. I will buy the Knight's Code and I will equip it onto uh, Edgar. Oh, I've messed that up. 
Yeah, Edgar here. Because he doesn't have a relic. And there, hopefully, you know... I, I, I don't know. I assume he'll end up very tanky. I assume he'll end up very slow and tanky. But the slowness doesn't matter if he's got an item that auto-activates like that. There we go. We'll try and run a little bit. What about you? Rooms at 80 gil per night. W will you be staying? No, but I would like to talk to any residents. Oh, look. Someone's asleep up there. Let's go creepily go in their bedroom and talk to them. Elder Scrolls style. <laughs> we got in bed with him. <laughs> I didn't even consider that's what I was doing. Figaro Castle stood up to the Empire. Great. Now we'll be drawn in now we'll all be drawn into the war. Sweet dreams. Dreaming of war and strife and Oh my lord. There we go. We're in the we're in the pub now. I see the guy who's over at the, the bar. You look just like that student of Duncan's. Okay, so our twin brother was training under the martial artist Duncan over at that cabin. That man at the counter's got a nasty look about him. I hear the Empire's been invading one town after another, and I wonder how safe we are in South Figaro. Hello, little girl. Gosh, she's on a mission. Huh? Kids aren't allowed in here? Okay, okay, fine. I <laughs> quite like that. No, go on, kid, have a drink. It's fine, no one will judge. Duncan's been... I like how she goes up to a table with a bottle already on it. It's like, you know, she's uh, doing that thing. Um, uh... Nicking other people's drinks that they've left, you know, the, the leftovers. Duncan's been training this boy Vargas with his, along with his other students. He's always grumbling about how the kid never seems to be making any progress. Huh. I didn't expect that twist. Orc. Right, ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Back off, lock. That guy looks familiar. I mean, he looks like a martial artist. Is, is it him? He comes and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Shadow. Oh my god, this is the edgiest shit ever. Okay. <laughs> Use his name. I didn't press space this time. Is that his dog too? Yeah, that's Shadow, all right. He's an assassin. He'd kill his own best friend for the right price. Guess we better steer clear of him. No, I want him on my party. I also want to order a drink. Can I do it like this? No. Damn, he's hogging. All right. I honestly thought more was going to come with that. I thought we were going to get a whole story beat out of it. Is this door not a thing? Oh, it is. Out of my way. I've got this side. I've got to get the cider over to the old timer because see, some of us have jobs and I'll scram. I'll give it to him. No! Oh, alright, well, fine. I mean, if the guy's doing it anyway. So I can go back to the old timer now? This in music's very interesting, isn't it? It's quite different. Alright, whatever. I know some of you are watching this thinking, God, can you stop interacting with every little thing? Don't, don't worry. Eventually, my brain will be conditioned to realise there's no point in it. <laughs> and I will stop. Go on, little girl, move. I quite like how the NPCs have little paths like that. It makes the place feel that much more alive. All right, let's just follow the guy. Because I honestly don't really know how to navigate this place that well. We're already so much faster than him, right? Oh, I like that I can block him. And then it's on the left of this room. Oh my god, he got there quick. My work here is done. You're in my way. Move it. Okay. I don't like strangers. Bring me some cider and maybe I'll talk to you. I did! Oh, are you serious? Wait. Do I have to go back and do it again now? Wow. Do you think I'm actually on a timer? Do, you, do I actually have to beat that guy? Move! No, move! Uh, oh, God. Which way was it? Was it this way? No, it was that way. No, it wasn't that way. No! Wait, how did he... He just vanished. Or whatever, it was here, right? Oh, sh no, no, yeah, downstairs, right? No, it wasn't downstairs. Oh my god, I'm lost. Is this a whole other shop I didn't even see? 
No, this is just where we bought the Knight's Code. Oh my god, I'm lost. My, sorry, I haven't really explained what the hell I'm thinking right now. My mindset right now is maybe I can go there. It would have reset. I'll see the cider bottle on the table. I can interact with the cider bottle on the table. Maybe it was that staircase, that one on the bottom right. And um, before the guy grabs it. Because it was there, right? And it disappeared. Yeah, like this. No, this is a different room, isn't it? No, see, he is doing it again. Don't tell me I have to interact with it from the bottom of the table. It does loop, though. That's interesting. Maybe I'm not totally wrong, because it is a resetting little sequence thing. Hmm. Okay, I'll look at the live chat if anyone has any, uh... If anyone wants any advice. Can I steal it? Can I buy it? Was the guy a hint? Yeah, I don't know. What if I just beat him there? Shit. Oh my god, this town- No, I was in the right place! No! Yeah, no, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. I beat him there. Well, no. My work here is done, now move it. The only thing I can imagine is I have to interact with that table from the bottom. Or yeah, maybe I have to buy it from the bar, but I can't go to the bar because the... Oh my god, this kid. Um, but I can't go to the bar because um, the ninja's in the way. What if I can beat him back, though? Isn't that what I just did, though? I don't know. Oh my god, I did it again. Can Shadow take it and you use it later? Oh, I guess so. So what, maybe I just come back here later? That's it then. The only thing that's on my mind, the only reason I'm pushing so hard for this is because haven't I seen everything in this town now? Yeah, I don't know. So what do we want to do? Go back to Duncan's cabin, maybe? With the tiny little bit of extra information we've got? I mean, if anyone has any advice in the live chat, let me know. Um, otherwise... Let me go back upstairs. Oh god, this is weird. Jesus Christ. Let's see, maybe there was a place I didn't visit. I mean, this is just the exit, right, to the town? Oh no, it's not. Oh my god, there's a whole other place. And a boat! We're at a dock. Hello? This ship isn't going anywhere. Oh, is there going to be a cool bit where we get on the boat and it sails and it gets sunk by some giant sea monster? Literally nothing to interact with. It's a pretty place, though. The, the water looks cool. Is this how it used to look? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I doubt it somehow. But maybe. It's like the SSN. Maybe, yeah, up here. Um, I don't know. Should we leave? There's an interesting little grove up here. Alright, let's just uh, get out then. Oh, I could get a chocobo too. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, look at that. Oh. Hold on, can I do that in, in the town as well? Oh, I can. Okay, so it didn't specifically want me as Edgar. I, I do get to pick who I play as. It's not based on party formation. It's it's uh, pressing 1, 2, and 3 on the keyboard. Which wasn't really explained anywhere, but okay, that makes sense now. I think I'm going to play as Terra. I feel like she's kind of the main character right now. Sort of. If that's even an adequate description. Let's get a... Let's hire a chocobo. And let's see everywhere we can explore in the main world here. It might be a bad idea to do this, though, because I might need to get in a fight or two. So, let's see, that's Duncan's cabin. That's South Figaro. That's the cave we came from. Those trees we can interact with. This is some big old forest. This is just a peninsula. So, there's just another cave here. So, maybe we just go into this cave. I hope I haven't missed any story. It feels quite hands-off there, doesn't it? 
Mount Colts, here we are. So we'll f try and find Duncan and potentially our twin brother here. Oh look, there are the other martial artists training. Okay, still. She can cure poison now. I don't know when that happened. Let's actually just attack with Edgar and see, because I mean I did give him that big great sword. Fifty-one. No, it's definitely better to use auto crossbow. That's way stronger. Is there really no downside to that? It's AoE, it does more damage, it doesn't seem to run out of stock. Lock leveled up. You've just walked into this mountain and start attacking students. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's kind of funny to think about it that way. Well, this looks like a dead end, though. Oh, it seems like whenever we steal, we're just getting potions, but you never know. And potions are alright, to be honest. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have picked the same target there. Oh, they're all dead. How would I get up to that chest? Oh, there's a cave exit up there, it looks like. So hold on, this was a dead end. Oh no, that, there's this cave. Very sneaky, actually, that cave entrance. The minimap kind of, again, sort of ruined that a bit. Do you know what I like more than anything else? That these battles, it, I'm getting in them really quick. He's very weak there, I can see that. So let's just try and kill these things real quick. He's like two hits away from dying. She's out of MP. That happened very fast. Terra's almost dead too. Oh, that was so cool. Did you guys see that? Terra's critical, so the knight's thing triggered. So Edgar defended her, but then went, then died. Okay, so the question is, how hard is resurrection in this? Do I have any phoenix downs yet? I have four. Wow, okay. In the original, it was a real pain in the ass to um, bring people back to life. Oh, wow, we're draining our stock quick. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> this should be to the chest. If my head's right, this should be to... Yeah, nice. A main gorge. What is that? Isn't that usually a gun in these games? Oh, no, it's not usually a gun, is it? What is it? Is it a relic? Armor? Oh no, yeah, there you go, it's a knife. Oh, of course it is, yeah, it's it's a dagger. Okay, let, that's fine, let's, let's grab them that. So there, immediately, by the way, I was when I went to the shops earlier, I was kind of thinking to myself, is there any point doing this, because I'll probably just find these items in chests, or better. And that's exactly what's ended up happening. So she she needs MP as well, that's, that's a bit of a problem. Maybe I should use some of those other uh, abilities. Oh nice, he defended and it's a miss. Like here, the bio blast is surely good because it will put poison out. What does the noise blaster do? Oh, what a cool animation! Oh, he's turned around. Does that mean confusion? Oh my god, the shields are really working for us, eh? Oh, uh, why am I spamming? I, I should spam less. We should see some of these new animations. Okay, also, real quick, do I have any ethers? I have four ethers. We'll give Terra one, so she can continue casting. So we want to go up. I guess across this rickety old bridge. Very creepy looking. Oh, so this is us getting back attacked, I guess? Uh, I'm going to have her cure herself. Oh god, and this is a feeling I haven't had for a long time, but that kind of... Let's do Bio Blaster and see what that looks like. Oh my god, her heal's really good as well. It's much better than a potion. Critical here. Get this weird feeling of someone being low health, you're on active time battle, and you've got to queue up the cure real quick. It just struck me, we haven't really had a normal boss fight in the game yet, have we? Man, 
man, these guys are tanky as all hell. Nice. Dodge. I know I was kind of spamming just regular attacks there, but it's probably a good idea to save our resources somewhat. Oh, hello. That silhouette looked very Edgar-y. So I'm guessing this is our twin. Oh man, I love uh, I love that view of the clouds over the edge of the cliff there. Mount Colts, the third floor. Okay, we get a 10. Oh wow, that bridge looks awesome. Hold on, let's explore the... Oh! Which way to go? I don't know, let's try the bridge first. Oh, I can't actually get to it. Oh, I see what's going to happen. We're going to go through this cave and go down and we'll come out by that bridge. Probably? Might be wrong. Okay, probably I'm wrong because we're going to a completely different area. Oh, I like these caves. Oh, and look at the background as well. I didn't notice, but you can see the bridges back there. Okay. Let's, uh, AoE fire. Let's attack. And let's use Bio Blaster. I, did, I see, did we see this animation yet? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, they've totally updated those. Oh, hold on. Does Bio Blaster do zero damage? It just applies the poison. Also, I guess there's no, um, there's no, like, effect, you know, no shader or something getting applied to the animals. Oh, he's still going. Oh, dude, that bar's, he could just run around anywhere. He doesn't have to follow and conform to the actual terrain. Oh, this is nice that we've got grass. Again, look at all the backgrounds. You've got another bridge there. It's not just generic grass. It's specifically... Why did that look like that was targeting my own team, too? Okay, I don't know. Let's do Noise Blaster again. Oh, that was good. The Knight's Vow worked perfectly there. Terra was going to die. Edgar sw swooped in and saved her. And this time he didn't die in the process, so it was just perfect, really. Oh, that was great. Two more levels. This is it. This is, We're getting into what really feels like the game here now. Okay. Here. Here. I mean, it's tricky because I don't, I don't really want to use too much MP. But I don't, I don't know. We've only got three potions left as well. We'll just leave it there for now, I think. Ah! Good. Oh wait, no, 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 not good. I keep getting confused thinking that's a hill and it's not. I love that light shaft there though. So what does that tell me? That tells me we might be halfway through Mount Colts already because that's probably like, that's either a save right before a boss or it's okay, here's your chance to, you know, record some progress in the middle. Whoa, what are those things? Trilliums. Oh my god, they look weird. What even are they meant to be? Vines? No, they're, they're squishy. I'll tell you that much. Oh my god, it just occurred to me. Hold on. Oh no, I guess not. There is a bestiary in this game. There is a bestiary, but it's only available in the main menu. So that's weird. It must be a, a feature added later then, I guess. I wonder if we actually get little bits of lore about the enemies we've been fighting in the bestiary. Oh, is this Duncan? Or is that the silhouetted man just no longer silhouetted? These guys might be squishy because, I don't know, something about their design makes me think that they're probably weak to, uh, to fire. By the way, I've only just noticed how cool Edgar looks when he actually fires that weapon. Like, that gun looks badass. The animation just plays very fast, so... Somewhat tricky to see. 
Hold on, I'm not going to learn how to climb around on rocks like they do, am I? I doubt it. Auto crossbow. Like, watch him as he uses the auto crossbow here. Ready? If he gets it, the turn in. Yeah, look at that. Okay, hello, sir. Sabin, 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 I don't know. What do we make of this? People in the comments, what do you think? Sabin or Sabin? I think I'm going to say Sabin. All the names are a bit odd to me right now, though. Sabin sent you, didn't he? Well, no, actually. Who are you? Sabin, is he here, says Edgar? You were the one sneaking around uh, us all the, the whole way up here, weren't you? And if I was, says Vargas. So this isn't Duncan, this is the other guy. Hmph, well, it doesn't matter who you are. I've no intention to surrender. Where is the day you met me? It'll be the last day of your life. So I don't want to boss. Whoa! What? He's just randomly got these big badass things with him. Alright, let's steal from him. Oh, we got to kill the first things. First. Because he's hiding behind them. Alright, let's... Noise Buster. Oh my god, Edgar's dead already. Phoenix down. But is that because he was weak from before? Maybe. Holy shit. That was quite a lot of damage, wasn't it? And AoE. Yeah, that's it. Get him up. Get him up. Let's go, 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 go. Oh my god, it did not res him with very much health. Uh, what do we want to do? High potion him? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Oh god, I, I, I messed up the UI and I don't know how. But it's stuck on... Um... Oh my god, Locke's dead. Oh my god, I'm going to die. High potion. Thank God they attacked Terra. And then they missed. I don't want to do this. How do I? When I'm trying to use items as lock, it is selecting the wrong thing. Oh my God. Okay, we killed one. Good, good, good. Okay, he's back to normal now. Oh, thank God as well, because she just died. I hope I Phoenix down the right guy. Oh, this is brutal! Okay, good. She she blocked with the shield. Another Phoenix down. Uh, you can't cure anymore. High potion yourself. Oh, do you know what? She should have high potion to Edgar, because Edgar would defend. Alright, we can get an attack in. Oh, don't die. Oh, really? This is really bad. We're out of, we're out now. Okay, we gotta go on the offense. She doesn't have any MP. Oh god, I'm gonna get game over. No, what is this? I wasn't ready for this. I, I thought I was just talking to a friend. I didn't realize he was gonna be in league with these monsters. Look at what a badass he looks like as well. She can't do any, I could ether her maybe. Come on, what's the matter? Uh, wait, am I supposed to lose? Ooh, sometimes that's a thing. Am I supposed to lose? <laughs> oh, I should have high potion that. 50 HP is not enough. Hold on, hold on. We can do this. We can do this. I'm going to blow your minds all here now. Ready? Gale cut. That's the real bitch. That's so much damage. 100 damage. You see that shit? And it's AoE. All right, last high potion, but it's fine. Because next turn, there's not a gale cut. Good, she, do she blocked. Oh my god, it's going so fast. I can barely keep up with it. Okay, Ether. Do you know what? If I if if I'm meant to lose this and I've used all my items. I'll probably just reload the save. <laughs> but I don't think I am actually. This looks doable. Let's kill this guy. Oh wow, he's taking that little Yeah, he's dead. He is dead. I can do it, guys. I'm telling you. We're, we're going to get it. Oh, no. I used the wrong ability. It was Gale Cut. All right. Does she dodge? Does she dodge? She does dodge. Come on. Do it again. Do it again. Dodge again. Just one more. Uh, uh. Come on. What's the matter? Yeah, I know. Oh, she did it again. And again. I probably should have elixir actually. She's still dead. If, if there's a Gale Cut coming, she's dead. So I have to elixir this. And the MP is nice. It was a, it was Gale Cut. Let's squeeze in an attack. Oh, 
Uh, squeezing a potion. Oh, no, not potions. I should be curing. I should be curing. We've got to be quick as we queue this up, though. No, 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 no. Wrong target. Did she just try to cure Locke? But he's dead. No, no, no. It did, it did cue her. Thank God. Okay, Gale Cut's probably next or something. Oh, wait. There it looked like she targeted herself with fire. Oh, God. Oh, no. Memory targeting got me screwed. Oh, the pie was defeated. Okay, is this a game over screen or is this... I mean, it must be. Oh, no. The start from recent save. What the hell? That was brutal. That just came out of nowhere. That's unbelievable. Oh, my God. There. You see, it says 1706 here. I just freaked out a little bit because I thought to myself, oh, my God. Um, that save's really old. It's only 20 minutes into the campaign. But, no, what it's actually saying is it's... Uh, it's five past five, and I can't believe that. That also probably means it's a good time to stop. Last time I looked at the clock, we were about an hour in. Apparently, half an hour has passed. I don't know how long I was pissing around in South Figaro and on Mount Colts there, but this video is pretty long here. So, here, it, I'm going to say no. We'll return to the title screen. Man, okay, so next time I'll be... Here's, here's the cutscene that plays on game load, by the way, which I didn't show you guys before. Next time we'll uh, we'll beat him. What I'll probably do is grind just a little bit off screen. I mean, I don't have to. I just have to play it a bit better. Probably focus target down one of the bears instead of doing so much AoE. And I'll be fine. It looks very doable. And maybe, you know, actually slow the battle speed down. Turn off active. There's lots of different things we can do. But yeah, it's very grim and ominous, this intro cutscene, isn't it? It's very ominous. I'm not sure whether there's any, any like, extra meaning behind all the thunder and stuff. Whether that will become a part of the story later or, you know, has something to do with this Esper thing. Or I, I don't know. here we pan down and I think now it will go into what is essentially the start of the game again maybe which is actually what I opened this video with yeah there you go and then we can see the town of Narsh and stuff bubbling away there in the mountainside the ancient war of the magi and by the way this was a thing in 14 as well they have a war of the magi there too the charred husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. Okay, so, like, yeah, just real quick here. Extras. Bestiary. Yeah, look at this. So, we've seen up to 20 of the enemies in our Pokédex. Okay, this is a pretty big bestiary right here. 150 Pokémon passed. Oh, okay, I can press X to scroll the whole page. Oh, wow, look, we have seen some stuff later on, though. Ymir. Oh, I guess this is a boss section. This is the first boss. Oh, so they don't have lore, but they just have stats and things. I see. Oh, I like how it changes the background sometimes as well. Oh, and it, it tallies how many I've beaten. Oh, stealable items, bandana. Yunseli. Rock. Hornet. Hopper. Sand ray. Oh, that's cool. In the um, in the desert scene, it actually has, uh, you know, the wavy lines. The Mirage wavy lines. Yeah, that's cool. Well, okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, that'll be this part. Thanks very much for watching. Any advice you want to give me, um, please go ahead. I wanted this video to be a bit longer because, I, I don't know, I want the story to kick up a bit. It would have been really nice if we beat that guy and could see what would come up. Um, but, yeah, so I'll see you guys on the next one uh, very soon. Thank you again. Uh, all my appreciation to everyone who's supporting me and, and continues to. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Really, I do. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the next one very soon. Take care now. Oh, by the way, this outro, someone dropped a comment saying that it's, like, broken or something. Let me know if that keeps happening. It should be fine. I, I don't know what's broken about it, but, yeah, we'll see.